What's up guys, today I'll be showing you how to get the Merciless Catalyst, how to upgrade it, and also the differences between it and the regular version of the Merciless. So first, you get the Merciless Catalyst from drops, from strikes, from the chest. That includes everything from regular strikes all the way up to Prestige Nightfall. I got mine from the Prestige Nightfall this week personally. So the hard part is actually getting the Catalyst in the first place to drop for you. I finally got my second one from strikes just yesterday. And I probably played 300 plus strikes since where mine came out. As you saw there, you just need to get regular kills to upgrade the Catalyst. The best way to do that is in the underbelly of the Leviathan Raid. So you're going to go activate the levers and come down here at the beginning. And you're going to go up the fans. And once you're up here, you're going to go to the left. And shortly around this corner is the engine room. And that's the room we're going to be using to farm these kills. The reason you want to use this room compared to anything else in the game is that almost... Six or seven of the enemies in this room drop heavy ammo, and obviously you're using a power weapon to get these kills, so you're going to need a huge supply of power ammo to be able to kill things. If you're killing non-majors, obviously you're going to run out of ammo pretty quick, so that's why I chose this. And it is by far the fastest farm in the game for power weapon kills like this, because I get roughly 2% each run, and each run takes 50 seconds to a minute. So if you do the math, you're going to be doing this in about 45 to 50 minutes on the dot. And it takes 500 kills in total, as you'll see here in a second. But it took me roughly 45 minutes to get this done, just farming this room, getting all the kills, going out, letting the door close, reopening it, and doing it all over again. After a bit of farming, I finally got the last kill to upgrade the masterwork, as you saw there. And as I go to upgrade it, you'll see what the actual upgrade does. It increases the range and stability by a lot. Then also, you see on the weapon, it took me 500 kills on the dot to get the upgrade. Now let's talk about the actual differences between the range and stability with and without the masterwork. So all these first clips are going to be without the masterwork. And right now I'm testing for the range drop off. The numbers I'm looking for are 54s. So once I get anything less than 54 or 53 that's obviously when the damage drop off begins and that's the point i'm looking for so every time i keep scooting a little bit more and more forward to get to that 54 53 number where the damage drop off actually begins i'm starting to get closer actual bullets are actually killing them in one shot but i'm still not at that 53 54. i finally got a 54 on that so that's where the damage drop off begins so i'm gonna go ahead and pull out the darcy and scope in on him and see how far he is He is 17 meters away, and that's where the damage drop off begins on the Merciless without the Catalyst. So now let's actually test the stability. So before you get the Catalyst, this is what the stability looks like. And what I did is pre-charged the weapon and shot all 14 at this wall. That way you would actually see the stability when it's firing at the max rate of fire. As you see, it goes all the way up the building, and afterwards it resets all the way back down without me moving it. So now we're going to do all the same tests, but with the actual masterwork upgraded now, as you see all that range and all that stability. So once again, the same thing, we're going to look for the damage drop off, looking for that 54, 53 number. Keep getting a little bit and a little bit closer until we get there. Getting closer. Got some 53s right there. And right here is where the damage drop off actually begins. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the Darcy again and scope in on him. Now he is 19 meters away, which is an extra 2 meters of range, which is roughly 11%. Now we're going to do the same thing with the stability, and now it's noticeably better. The stability increase is actually extremely noticeable. I barely went up maybe a third of the building compared to the full building length right there, which is very, very noticeable. Well, there's one huge issue with this gun in the game right now. As you see right there, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. That is seven 120s. If you add them all together, that's 840 damage. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the lowest impact shotgun in the entire game, which is like the EP slash Perfect Paradox or like the Raid shotgun, and it does 864 per bullet. So the low impact shotguns, not taking advantage of any of the perks, just straight up using a base damage shot does more damage than the Merciless, and it has 21 total ammo compared to the Merciless 
14. So, I, I'm just kind of confused why this weapon's in the game slash an exotic. I don't know who at Bungie tests things or compares things, but this weapon does less damage than the lowest impact shotguns in the game and has 50% less ammo. The masterwork for this weapon had to be plus 50% total ammo reserves for it to even compete for any weapon in the power slot. Right now, the damage output of this weapon is significantly less than almost anything else in your power slot, and it's exotic. The actual exotic perk and the way the gun was made is amazing. It's a very, very good idea, but it's just executed very poorly. The fact that it shoots and charges up faster and faster based on how many times you hit someone is awesome. And once it's always charged up, it shoots at the same rate of fire as a full auto shotgun, which is huge for a fusion rifle. But the thing that fusion rifles usually have that balances them is the fact that they do way more damage than things like shotguns. But this one does less damage than a shotgun, and it has less ammo than a shotgun, so it's kind of useless straight up. The entire point of fusions having less ammo than shotguns is the fact that it does more damage per shot than a shotgun, but if that's not true, there's literally no point in using this. So I would like in the future if they would take more time with the exotic catalyst and masterworks going into Forsaken I can see them actually doing that. There's a lot of the masterworks for the exotics in the game currently that just feel like they were just rushed and thrown on there for no reason. For example like the Risk Runner, oh here's plus uh, one foot of range. Like, okay, that, that's cool. And things like the Merciless, where it's a power weapon, you're not really taking advantage of the orbs on double kills because it's a power weapon, you're not really using it for ad clear. The only power weapon you're going to be using for ad clear is something like War Warcliffe Coil. But the Merciless, you're using it on boss damage alone, so you're not getting the orbs, that's not a bonus. And the perks themselves, the stability is cool and all, but it doesn't make it better than almost any other option in the game. Anyways, going forward, I'd like to see them put more effort into the Masterworks, which I'm sure they will. They've been talking about changing the entire you know, system going into Forsaken. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching.